we moved to Montana when I was 10. And from the time I was 10 until I graduated from high school, we lived in Montana. I graduated from a class of, with a class of 42 kids in Red Lodge, Montana. Has anyone ever been to Red Lodge? Yeah, it's a small town. No, no street lights that I recall and 13 bars on the main street. Pretty rough and tumble uh, Montana town. But uh, I didn't know a lawyer in that city. I didn't know a lawyer when I was in law school. And, and so graduating, I was doing really well in law school. And I was always told, if you finish in the top 25% of your class, you'll get a job. You'll have a job. That wasn't necessarily true. It was the kids that were connected to lawyers in the industry that were getting all the jobs. I saw guys finishing in the uh, bottom 25% of our class. They had jobs. I didn't have jobs. And I was commiserating with my mother, Kay Bradford, one day. And I said, Mom, I'm so frustrated. I don't have a job upon graduation. I don't have a law clerkship. I don't know what I'm going to do. Help me. And she says, David, don't you remember what I've always told you? It's not what you know, it's who you know. And at that time, and you've heard that phrase, but at that time in my life, it struck me very powerfully. I understood the value of connections. And I determined from that day forward that I was going to develop deep, permanent, and lasting relationships in my business career that would benefit me for the next 40 years of my life. And so these principles I'm going to talk about today, start up, show up, follow up, stand up, link up, et cetera, scale up, are all about connecting with people. You'll hear the term networking used from time to time, right? I'm a big believer in networking. It's time we kind of said, you know, that's not a four-letter word. Networking contains the word work in it. It's forming a network of people, but it takes a lot of work to do that. Don't ever minimize the value of creating a network. Think about creating your own personal board of directors. All these companies that you'll hear from today and you know, in previous lectures, they form companies and they have this board of directors. Well, if a board of directors is valuable to a company, how much more valuable to you as an individual, right? So go out, build those relationships, and you do it first and foremost by start up, by giving up. Here today, you're going to meet somebody. You come to these conferences. You come to these classes. You'll go to networking events and whatnot, and you'll meet somebody. Your first thought needs to be, how can I help that individual? Let's see. I just met you. Stand on up. Green shirt up here. And your first name was? Natalie. Natalie. And Natalie's from Manti, Utah. And I've learned already that her father is a public school teacher. Correct? Correct. Correct. Great. And, but not in the turkey industry, because Manti's like the world capital of, of the turkey industry with Norbest and some of the other big ones there. Now, how can I help you? in your life. Right now, think of ways. What is it that you need in your life from a business perspective, from any perspective? What is it that I can help you with? Um, Do you need a job? I need knowledge, I guess. You need a knowledge? Yeah, you need so knowledge. Learn from you today and okay, she needs knowledge. <laughs> knowledge is good, Natalie. Uh, and what I'm saying to you is the knowledge I'm trying to convey to you today, and you can have a seat, is that if you connect with people and you form a team, how, who's seen the Lego movie? Right? What's the song everybody sing? Everybody's everybody's awesome. Right? And if we're a team, what happens? Everything is cool, right? And so that's what I'm talking about, is you form a team around you. And the, f and the way you do it is to think first of the other person. What is it that I can help that person with? 